To the left and right are the buildings that replace the colonial homes, hoping to create an unbalanced urban vision. Fortunately, not through the bank's fortunes, the colonial homes that are located to the left are untouched. Borso. On December 10th of 1990, UNESCO declared the colonial city of Santo Domingo to be a monument to world culture for its historical value, its influence on the architecture and urbanization of America, and for its association with deeds and successes of universal importance. This is the street of Mercedes, of blessings. It is one of the few in the city that has curbs in the form of a checkerboard. Because of this, it is easy to walk around in and almost impossible to get lost. Seeing as how it is a 16th century Spanish city, notice the width of these streets, which make it seem as if Ovando had had a visit vision of the future. Grabe yung kalakitan, boss. Boss, itong mga kaskia, o. Pagong, nag-a-jimitis. ...built of reinforced concrete was the hospital's original chapel. It is dedicated to the worship of the Virgin of Alta Gracia, High Grace. The painting of the image of the Virgin and Child in a manger is considered to be the first nativity scene in the Americas. There's some documentation indicating that worship of the image of the Virgin of before it spread to other sites on the island. To the right is the house of San Pedro, St. Peter, an elegant 16th century mansion. Don Jose Martin, father of Cuban independence, stayed here during his visit to the city. Now we're on Broadway Street. Before city councils demanded the right to name streets, it was the public that baptized them for a person, event, or special character to stop the sacrilege being done to the main altar. The savage gang made fun of the defenseless monks. They humiliated them, beat them, and tortured them without mercy, finally hanging them from a tree whose branches were above the street. Thus the name, Street of the Martyrs. important and traditional commercial center today exclusively for pedestrians. Anything you might desire in Santo Domingo will be found in the country. Do you think it's a tourist place? Do you want to be able to get out of here? Yes. Do you want to be able to get In front of you is the chapel of the Third Dominican Order. It was part of a church. In the 19th century, a Puerto Rican educator lived here named Eugenio Maria de Ostos. He turned it into the first teacher's college, specializing in preparing educators to teach high school. In 1884, the city council named this Duarte Street in honor of the principal founding father of the Dominican Republic, Juan Pablo Duarte. In 1930, this park was constructed in his memory, and the Italian sculpture Tomanini 
is charged with creating the sculptures. and a flamboyant tree provide greenery and shade to the area. This is the preferred place of contemporary young Dominicans. Here the nights are both long and very lively. We are now traveling from south to north on the street named in honor of Eugenio Maria de Ostos, guide and educator of myriad intellectuals and Dominican teachers. In the colonial era, it was called the Street of the Hospital. It was also called Street of the Schools because in 1854 it had three functioning study centers, the School of Carmen, Xavier College, and the Dominican College. Today, it is a street of restaurants, especially those serving Dominican food of cafes with dancing to nostalgic Caribbean music and jazz. A place for gourmets, dancers, and lovers of music.